who think theologically in terms of our faith about all of uh, people of goodwill and our response to the needs in the world and to people who maybe are out of place and their world has been shattered. So I want to read you something uh, about nine verses. This is from the book of Deuteronomy. We call it our Old Testament, but this is the foundational scriptures for three faiths. Uh, Muslim faith does use the Old Testament, Deuteronomy. Am I right, Abdullah? And of course, Jewish and Christian. So we are all children of Abraham. We are all the descendants of Abraham. One man in the Middle East who was called by God and followed God when he was called. And these are specific instructions that were given to the people of Israel, the children of Abraham. I just want you to read this. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you? He wants you to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways and love him. He wants you to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. He wants you to keep all the laws of the Lord, which I am telling you today, for your good. For the Lord your God is the God of gods and the Lord of lords. He is the great and powerful God and is to be honored with fear. He does not show favor and cannot be bought with money. He does what is right and fair for the child without parents and the woman whose husband has died the widow and orphan, some translations say. He shows his love for the stranger by giving him food and clothing. So show your love for the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Give me one minute to unpack that word stranger. We specifically zeroed in on this translation. There are a number, it's a a difficult word to exactly describe. Stranger in this translation Some translations say foreigner. Some translations say resident alien. Some translations say sojourner. All of those words are wrapped up. The person whose life has pushed them into a strange land. The person for whom only God and the kindness of others can get them uh, having life going forward again. Our scriptures, the scriptures of these three major faiths, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, say we must show kindness to those people in need, the widow, the orphan, the stranger, the sojourner. And so Canada is trying to do that. And I I loved what Firas said. Governments, churches, mosques, all people of goodwill. We are called to this work to care for the widows, the orphans, and the sojourner, the stranger, the foreigner. And this is what our congregation has linked with Appleby United, and we're taping this and hoping the Appleby people can uh, hear it a little later. And we have done work, um, Abdullah and I have been back and forth because Let me put this delicately. The Canadian government dropped nine families on on Abdullah and the mosque. The government brought them, but there were no sponsors. And so they were government, in a sense, government sponsors, but the level was much lower. There was a period where, out of our crisis care funds, Katie and I were able to authorize, and a number of people here went shopping and bought the proper... um, what, what's the right term? It's not kosher. Abdullah, what's the term? Halal. Thank you. I got to keep learning. Uh, halal foods. And, and we were part of that, partnering with the mosque for these nine families. And I believe they still worship with you. Are they in Burlington or have they been? They're here. Yeah. I thought some of them were going to be moved to Hamilton or Mississauga, but they're here. So you've still got them. Yeah. This is part of how we, God's people, whoever we are, how we can work together. We are fulfilling the commands of Scripture. So, uh, I'll just keep going to finish. Do what is fair for a stranger or a child whose parents are dead. Do not take the clothing of a woman whose husband has died to make sure she will pay what she owes. Apparently, in ancient cultures, they would take 
from people if uh, they had a debt. Remember that you were servants in Egypt, and the Lord your God set you free. So I am telling you to do this. A lot of translations say you were slaves in Egypt. When you gather the grain in your field and have forgotten some of it, do not return to the field to get it. Leave it for the stranger, the child whose parents have died and the woman whose husband has died. Then the Lord your God will bring good to you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive trees, do not beat the branches a second time. Leave the fruit for the stranger, the child whose parents have died and the woman whose husband has died. When you gather the grapes from your vines, do not gather a second time. Leave them for the stranger, the child whose parents have died and the woman whose husband has died. Remember that you were servants in the land of Egypt. Because of this, I am telling you to do this. Do you see? It's woven all through. Even when you're harvesting your own crops, leave a little bit for the people who really have needs. We are called to this. It is our work as God's people, as the children of Abraham. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let me just offer a prayer. Holy One, fill this place with your spirit of generosity, love, compassion, justice. Make us truly the people of God, your people. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Arv.